Now, I know French carp fishing videos have been done to death, but this one for me feels a little bit special. It's about good laughs, new friendships, and a new carp fishery, which is going to be something very, very special. Like 90% of these videos, we set off down the motorway headed to the Euro Tunnel and drove our van onto a train going under the sea, which never fails to impress me. Merci. Lakes in the Goncourt region of France where we enjoyed takeaway pizzas and beers with the other guests before heading round to our swims for chairs. We pulled the bed chairs out the van and slept under the stars and the Milky Way put on a spectacular performance. We got some shut eye and readied ourselves for our fishing the next day. The swims we chose were 6 and 7 at the weedy end of the lake, so I got busy with the marker rod and found a small patch of silt in between the clay and the Canadian palm weed. After a big bait upon the spot I'd found, I tied up some basic wafter deer rigs, chucked them out and got my tail. And it wasn't long before I came out the first fish. This was the start of a mad flurry of bites for the both of us, which lasted all day and well into the night and the following morning. First fish in the night. Most of these bites seem to be night bites, um, but I have had a couple in the day which I'm buzzing about. I think this one's probably a scraper 20, uh, which is the biggest so far. Uh, yeah, time to get a rod out at range in the dark. Not looking forward to that, but um, yeah, trip's going well. 
Right, let's pull him back. I don't know how well you can see this on video because it's pitch black. But they're getting bigger. Almost 24 pound. Um, I've took some pictures, so hopefully they come out okay. Um, like I say, it looks a bit dark on the camera, so I'm not sure how it's going to pick it up. But yeah, four fish, first night. Buzzing. Back you go, princess. I've literally had no sleep, in case you can't tell, I'm exhausted. Um, seven bites, six fish, and that's first night. Yeah. So, I'm absolutely made up with this. I'm going to put it back, um, there's only a baby, not weighed it, get some breakfast, and then I think I'm going to get my head down throughout the day, because it seems to be all night and early morning bites, but yeah. Loving the session. Just as I'd slipped that first light fish back, there was a shout from Cam Swim. He'd landed something special. A 44 pound immaculate common, which was a new PB for him, and my absolute pleasure to photograph for him. Nice this is bite number eight, fish number seven. Still really early in the morning, but the sun's coming up fast now, so I think I'm going to wind the rods in for a bit to be fair. Get some rest because I'm shattered. But cheers, mate. It's around three o'clock Monday. It's absolutely red hot. I haven't had a fish today. I lost one this morning, little margin rod. Didn't feel very big, and it couldn't have been a very good hook hole because it was off straight away. Um, the last 10 minutes or so, there's a few fish started walloping out. Um, there's not been a lot of activity all day just due to the heat, so my thoughts on it are they're gonna have to get their heads down at some point. There's a lot of fish in here, and they're all hungry, so. Yeah, hopefully we get a few tonight. Um, Cam obviously had his PB this morning, which was an incredible common. So hopefully I get one of them myself. But in the meantime, I'm gonna crack open a couple of beers and just enjoy my time. Just enjoy my holiday. All right, let's get one of these beers. So I'm about to go and bait up again, and this is what I've been doing. Basically, it's just ground bait, it's trigger carpet feed, a bit of liquid booster in there, some crush boilers. I've just rolled a load of big balls. And the idea of that is going to sit on the late bed. There's not a great deal of food down there, but there's a lot of food signal. There's going to be a couple of scoops of boilers, a couple of scoops of particle. And then there's a big area of food signal, but not a lot of bait. So hopefully that'll bring them in and force a bite because it has gone quiet. So we shall see. You are the fish. <laughs> Week we started to run out of supplies, mainly beer, so a quick drive to a huge supermarket called Leclerc, where I was blown away by the cakes of the patisserie. We were also only a short drive away from our bucket list lake, Lac de Deux, where we had a walk around, took in the sights of the marina, and headed back. So 
any carp angler that knows his onions will know this lake instantly. It's Lac de Deux. It's a lake I would absolutely love to fish. I've always thought of this lake. Cassian's lost its appeal that you can't night fish it anymore. You can still night fish this place, but you can see just how down on water it is, just as everywhere is in France at the minute. But yeah, really special lake. Very hard, you can come here and blank for a month, but obviously it's a huge body of water and this is just a little bit of it that you can see. Mega place. <laughs> Spending the day away and leaving the rods out of the water really gave the fish some confidence on our spots, with multiple catches and even a triple run. And as if the day couldn't get any better, Pete, Rick and Mark put on a mega barbecue where we ate and drank into the early hours and was blessed with another amazing night sky. So excuse the sunburn and the nakedness. Um, just wanted to give you an update of how things are going. Uh, we're on Thursday now. Um, I think I've had 13 carp, one tench. Cam's had nine carp. Um, so we're doing all right. There's a big wind coming. Well, a big wind. It's not a big wind, there, but it's a wind. It's been really, really warm, flat calm like the whole time we've been here. Um, a wind's come in and I'm sort of hopeful that the fish are going to get back on it. Last night was really eventful. I had um, a triple run off one spot, fishing all rods tight to each other. So yeah, that was good. And then after that, we went round for a barbecue and a social, which got pretty messy. And that's why I look pretty rough this morning. Um, full bottle of whiskey, bottle of Morgans, and copious amounts of beer. Not good while you're fishing. So we, did, we weren't fishing last night. We had no rods out. Um, and then I've only just been able to put the rods back out this morning after a bit of breakfast and uh, a cup of tea. Now I'm feeling better. But yeah, really I'm enjoying it. We've got all day today to go. Um, and then tomorrow we're going to start having a slow pack down, ready for the off first thing Saturday. So yeah, let's see if we can get amongst the bigger ones though, eh? Chance. <laughs> Off she goes. What did you have that on then, Cam? Salmon, and it was salmon and a 12 mil spicy, technic technic spice, pop up on top of it, snowman rig. BFM doing it for me on this rod. It's been like that since last night. Trigger the first two days, moved on to BFM, and it's been hitting it ever since. And for everyone watching in the UK, that was the uh, new BFM from Nutribates. <laughs> <laughs> the bites have really slowed down, not helped by the constant heat, but that did give us a chance to relax and watch the wildlife. 
mainly the koi pew, which we could hear all hours of the night, playing and barking to each other. That's the big bait up done. On the way back to the bivvy now. See if I can get the rods back out on the same spot. It's a bit windy today, so it might be a bit of a challenge. Um, but there's about 10 kilo of boilers out now. Um, bit of a risk, but I've had I've had fish anyway this week. So if it pays off, it pays off. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But um, I feel like. The bait that we are putting out there, the smaller ones are getting to it first and there's nothing left for the bigger ones. So it was worth a try. We'll see if it happens. The big bait up had paid off. And just as Pete and Winnie came around for a visit, I was into another fish. Only a small mirror, but it was great to be getting bites again. And all under a mega rainbow. Me and Cam spent our last night talking about the wheat we'd had and started making plans to come back the following year and we were once again greeted by an incredible sky and it wasn't just the mozzies that were biting in the night and in the early morning. The toilets and shower block, uh, barbecuing area, TP if you fancy. Lovely. Maybe we'd have time to understand things. And just like that, our week had come to an end. And what a week it had been. None of the big fish for me, but I definitely lost a couple of really decent ones. A huge thank you to Pete and Simone for their hospitality and making it feel like a proper holiday. Thank you to Mark and Rick for the barbecue. And a special thanks to Cam, who did all of the driving. Mega venue, mega laughs, and I can't wait to go back next year. Look at each other and laugh. <laughs>
Hahaha <laughs> 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 <laughs>